Hello students and parents, this is Mr. James. I just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on a really awesome resource we need our students to use this semester. And every semester, we give the kiddos music that is a little bit harder than the average middle school orchestra, but that's why it's more fun to play. But it requires a lot of practice. So not just what we practice, but how we practice. So you should have noticed in the lesson notes, this is the teacher side where we write our notes, that we have these links for MuseScore. This is so important for students. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open one of these links and I'm gonna show you how to use MuseScore. You want to use this every day when you practice, every day, every day. So parents, make sure that you see them with this open. Students, make sure you pay attention. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open one of the links. So this is our air on a G string. This one is a great one to take a look at too because it's so hard to count. Part of this is just learning the way our music sounds. I know a lot of you guys have trouble with 16th notes, and that's okay. But feeling the rhythm is going to be knowing the, the melody. That's going to be way more key than trying to teach you to go da 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 So what we do, easiest thing first off, is just you hit play, and you can hear the music. You can play along with your parts. Let's say you're really struggling. You're like, okay, I know how to do this F sharp here, but it's bar number two. You can set a loop. <laughs> you can loop bar number two. Da, 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 and then repeats. Ba, da, 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 da. You do that for as many or as few bars as you want. My piano students know I make them practice in small parts all the time, and no matter what instrument you're playing, you should definitely do that. So my violin twos, for instance, you know this song, knowing when to hold onto these notes, so important, right? So if you, when you're playing along with the score, oops, we should turn off our loop here. Um, and when you're done, just hit remove. Um, Playing along and watching and listening to the other music in full score is so helpful because instead of just guessing where these chord notes, you hear the da 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 da. Oh, and then I change, right? Knowing how we fit in is very, very important. If it's difficult, you can even slow it down with this. So let's say this is like 60%. <laughs> Ooh, that is a slow quarter note. <laughs> Usually the slowdown is better for faster pieces of music. This one's already really slow. It's just getting these rhythms in here and just knowing what these lines sound like. So using the repeat feature. If you want to solo individual lines, you can totally do that. So what you do is you click this little button here that says off. We go audio sources, we go to synthesizer, and now you can solo all these different instruments. So let's say we want my cellos my cello ones. They're like, man, I really want to hear these octave parts because cello ones in this piece, you have only the eighth notes. It's really important to keep that steady. And I think in particular, my violin ones and twos, you guys are really going to want to work on this piece. Now, you can solo multiple instruments. So I would tell my violin ones or twos, I would solo cello one and your part because now you're going to hear steady eighth notes so let's say if we start ooh, and we can even use another feature here let's say we just want to loop bars two and three and you don't even need a metronome because the cello is that steady eighth note and then it starts over Right? Okay. That's basically it. When you're ready to go back, you just hit Muse Score Audio. The sound is nicer. <laughs> it's a little bit less MIDI. Um, you can even download this program. Muse Score is free. You can download it, and then you can download the file and play it with even more functionality. Um, however, that's all you need this for. Playing along. And at the very least, just starting here, hitting play, or making sure your loop is off. <laughs> 
and just playing along with our music, listening to the music, playing with the music, most important thing you can do. This is going to be an awesome semester, and I'm super excited for you guys.